Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll show how to use the new features of D5 Scatter. Released with the version 2.8, D5 Scatter has been enhanced on three aspects, including call effect, save preset to studio, and more user-friendly interactions. Call effect is new feature of D5 Scatter, enabling you to remove scattered objects from certain models' materials. You can achieve a natural effect through adjustable parameters, including call distance and fall-off area. Consider this scene involving a ground model with a road. First, navigate to D5 Asset Library and choose a meadow preset to apply it onto the ground. The path has been covered by the grass since it overlaps the ground model. To address this, you can simply use the Cull tool. Select the corresponding scatter to activate its control panel, where you'll see a new section called Effects. Click on the plus button to add a cull effect. You can set the cull area on models or materials by pressing the shortcut key X to switch between the two selection modes. For better path selection, use the material selection mode. Click Create to confirm the change. Grass in this zone is gone in no time, yet the edge is harsh. Click on the Cull effect and you'll find more settings to adjust the edge's appearance. Cull range controls how far from the edge the Cull effect should extend. Increasing its value will expand the Cull area. The setting of 0.05 meters works well in our case. Enable the falloff area which has four options. Distance, Density, Scale, and Noise. The distance parameter determines the width of the falloff area, where grass changes from bare to lush. You can increase its value to view the impact more directly. In this instance, we set the distance to 0.4 meters. Density controls the vegetation density within the falloff area. Scale determines the size of plants nearest to the edge. Setting scale to 0% minimizes plant visibility, whereas at 100% plants revert to their original size. For optimal results, set scale to approximately 50%. The noise parameter affects the twisted shape of the edges. You can compare the before and after effects using the eye toggle. Repeat the process to adjust the bush preset. First, set the path as a cull area with a cull range of 0.4 meters to prevent bushes from overrunning the grass. Then, fine-tune the edge with parameters from the falloff area. This approach is super useful when you need to modify models in a project. After importing a new model, you might think of add an extra cull effect which requires you to adjust all the parameters from scratch again. We get a better solution for you, which is adding the model to the existing cull area. This way, original cull settings will be automatically applied to this model, which is super handy. The optimized D5 scatter tool can quickly regenerate the corresponding scatter effect, even after changes to the target cull object. The new cull feature works wonder when you need an organic attenuation effect and can perfectly adapt to model updates. D5 Scatter now allows you to save a custom scatter effect as a preset in D5 Studio for future use. Select the desired scatter effect and click on the button in the upper right corner to add it to the studio. Set the preset's name and storage location, then click Confirm to save. This enables you to apply this scatter to other projects without having to adjust parameters again. Please note that global presets and content presets must be saved using different methods. Use the button above the scatter area for global presets and the button next to the content panel for content presets. With this new feature, you can select multiple objects and detach them at once. Double click to activate the tool then hold Control and click to select multiple desired models or drag your mouse to batch select a cluster. 
click Done to detach these models. The detached objects will be automatically categorized in the resource list by species, allowing for individual adjustments to each model. You can directly drop and drop a custom map and right-click to copy and paste it. The automatic linking between the scatter and the control panel significantly enhances the user experience, especially when you have to select a specific area from complex divisions. In D5 2.8, you can simply click on the desired scatter area to bring up the relevant control panel. Straightforward and convenient. Moreover, selecting a plant model will automatically open the corresponding menu as well. These enhancements facilitate a more time-efficient workflow. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.